Smooth Ostrich is such an underrated leather. It's strong, it's durable, and it looks spectacular. And today, I have the Justin McLean, which features this awesome leather. And I'm gonna break down the details of this Justin McLean boot in this quick impression video. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and always like and comment down below. I really like seeing your guys' thoughts about these videos. Now, I recently got a hold of this Justin McLean boot because Justin wanted me to cover their brand new jeans that they released and they said, why don't you try them out with a pair of boots too? And since some of you out there have requested me do a video on the Justin McLean boot, I said, why don't you send me the McLean so that I could check them out and maybe do a quick impression as well. They didn't know that I was planning that, but you guys asked and I was able to get my hands on the Justin McLean, which is an awesome smooth ostrich. You guys have good style asking for some smooth ostrich boot videos. So we're gonna break down the details of this boot right now and we start with the rundown. All right, this is the Justin McLean boot, style number JE811, and it features smooth ostrich on the foot and the counter. This is such a beautiful leather, so underrated. And the cool thing about smooth ostrich is that sometimes you can also get little quills, the little semi quills, because this comes from the belly of the ostrich. And as that belly kind of goes up to the side, maybe like around the ribs, you'll get little feathers. And those little feathers have little quills. So that's where these little quills come from. And this is the vintage tan color. This McLean boot features a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. It also has a one and a quarter block heel, which appears to be bonded leather or another composite of some sort. It's coming in at 11 inches tall and features red cowhide tops. Down here we have a leather outsole with brass nails alongside that shank there. And it is a Goodyear welt, so you can get this resold if you happen to run through this leather outsole. On the inside, it's lined with leather all the way through and I think it's pigskin leather, it appears to be. And for an insert in here, we have their J-Flex Plus Orthotic insert. It's got some nice cushion to it, some breathability holes as well. And underneath that, we have a fiberboard footbed. These boots are made in Mexico and they're coming in at $289.95 at justinboots.com. Now it's time to try on these boots to see how they look and feel. All right, I got on the McLean boots right now and that smooth ostrich feels really nice. So does the J-Flex removable insert. Got some good cushion in there. I went with the size 11D and I'm thankful that I did because a lot of square toes, I usually size down about a half a size just because you get a little bit more room in a square toe. If I was to get a Ariat square toe, I usually go with a 10 and a half D. So I size down a half a size to make up for that extra room. I'm glad I didn't do that with this McLean because if I did, it would be too small. So this fits comparable to a 10 and a half D for me. This is the Justin 11 D. So if you're an Ariat wearer and you're thinking about trying these boots from Justin, you got the wide square toe, you're going to a wide square toe, you might want to size up a half a size, but that's not a, always a hard and fast rule. It's just something to think about when you're uh, ordering online or trying out boots in the store. Let me pull over those jeans so you can see what they would look like just wearing them normal. I love the color of these boots. You know, this is the kind of color that gets a lot of compliments. It's the light browns, the tans, the cognacs. They just get compliments. They're attention grabbers, you know what I mean? Whenever I'm wearing a pair of light brown cognac boots, I swear I get more compliments in those boots. And it's just nice to hear from strangers something like, hey, those are nice boots, bud. And it's an icebreaker as well to start conversations. So this is that type of color, and I think it looks great. Here's the POV. You can see that wide square toe and the double stitched welt. 
not so much a fan of that toe shape, but I really like the color and the fact that you have the semi quills on the one third portion of the vamp towards the outside. It looks really cool. Loving the color and the texture of Smooth Ostrich. All right, guys, so the Justin McLean looks incredible. I like the Smooth Ostrich, the fact that one third of the vamp has those smaller quills looks great color is beautiful but i feel like there are a few things that they could do to just bump up that quality to the next level i would love to see a real stacked leather heel here this is a composite or a bonded leather that's been stacked and then on the inside there is a fiberboard footbed underneath that j flex insole i would love to see them do something like a traditional hard leather insole in there and I feel like those two adjustments would really bump up the quality of this boot. You see, the problem with the fiberboard insoles is that if you were to get this boot really wet and then get a hole in the outsole, when you send these boots to a repair person, a cobbler, and they pull that sole off. If it's been really soaking wet on the inside, since it is basically just really compressed cardboard, when they pull that sole off, the whole insole can sometimes come off. So they need a little bit more sturdy footbed in there, something like a hard leather insole, similar to what they use for the outsole. I would love to see them make those two improvements for the footbed and the leather stacked heel and that would really bump up the quality of this boot but i want to know your thoughts let me know down in the comments what you think of this justin mclean boot thank you so much for watching today love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time peace don't you love how that ostrich is smooth don't you love how that ostrich moves Smooth ostrich on the McLean and it's ready for anything, any day. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out these Justin Jeans video up here. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here and I will see you next time. Peace.